Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're at the harbor. We're gonna try out some stuff that I don't usually use. We're gonna start with a little A rig I made with uh, three inch Kytex, 2.8s I think. 2.8 inch Kytex and some wire and swivels and threads and some uh, shrink wrap. Shrink tube. Sun's going down. High tide is at like 12:30 tonight or tomorrow morning. So we'll see how late we can stay. Just got bit on the last cast. Let's see. See if we can land on this time. Line again, bit. Presentation, is it the speed I'm reeling at? So a good tip to tell when your lures hit the bottom. So you see the uh, braid move in there? The line following it. Well, right now it's sinking and right now it's stopped. When your line hanging under your rod goes slack, and the lure stops pulling your line out to the bottom. I mean, it's kind of... <laughs> oh, that was cool. Fish number one of the night. It's a pretty nice little spotty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shoot. Ooh, some teeth on them, too. On the A rig or umbrella rig. Having some trouble getting this hook out. Let me reach around and get my pliers. This is a uh, it's a little larger than average. You guys want to see it? This is a spotted bay bass. Spotted be careful, bay bass. careful, well, buddy. No, no, you can't be. I ain't gonna smell like fish in my car. <laughs> Thank you. That's so cool. Here he goes. Spotted bay bass. Are you swim? Did he kick, kick, kick? Because uh, the theory that I have is, as the sun goes down, the tide comes up. These bass will move up from deeper cover near the rocks. Well, the larger ones at least. You can catch like anywhere up to seven inches in the rocks almost all day long. But the larger ones that are upwards of a pound and you know, nearly two pounds, the largest ones I've caught in this bay. I feel like they move up later in the day because they feel more comfortable moving up during the night and uh, they corral these bait fish right up against these rocks and just ambush them. Whether it be from under the docks or larger holes in the rocks are always good places to target. And at night, I always have a lot of luck going low and slow with the lure. Whatever it is, spinner bait too, super slow. There's one right there. That's a calico, oh. So, uh. Three main species of saltwater bass, calico, barred sand bass, and the spotted bay bass. That one hit the A-rig as well. Pretty proud, because it's kind of the first little contraption like this that I made ever. You can find uh, pictures of it and uh, kind of step-by-step -step the construction of it on my Instagram account. I think it's like, I think it's the same as my YouTube account. 310 Outdoors, 310. 310 is in my area code for like the phone number, you know? There's the A-Rig doing work. 
stay tuned. An important thing to remember about using these small, like really, really small swim baits with a thinner tail is that they kick plenty on a slow retrieve. And to make them look natural, you really have to reel them slow. You have to think of how slowly a, a super small bait fish like that wanders. And that's the speed you want to reel it in at. You don't want to overdo it. Water, I stopped by a key spot to, uh, to lather this A-rig up with some scent. It's getting dark, so you want to try and play on as many senses of these fish as you can. So I'm going to get scent in there along with some of these the tails and the vibration of this A-rig. This is a Procure, very popular. My favorite one is Calico Cocktail. It's kind of a mixture of different scents and uh, there is a noticeable difference in salt water between using this and not using this. Oh man, it's a Cuda on the homemade A-Rig. <laughs> Tiny little thing, but Cuda is a Cuda. That's right, very Cuda. Wicked. Fell for the A-Rig. Otherwise known as the umbrella rig. Let's get this guy released. Here he goes. I'm feeling like a spinnerbait will get it done with these conditions, with all this bait in the water. Let's go with, let's see what kind of colors. Brought this out to test today, giant blade. I don't think we'll go with that though. This will have good thump, but I'm not digging it right now. I'm thinking more of like a willow leaf. Let's try this little white one. One willow, one Colorado blade. Kind of chartreuse tint to the trailer. And a white skirt. Let's see what we can do. Found us a decent little spotty here. On the spinner bait. I don't think it's a PB, but no doubt it's a nice one. Oh shit! And his teeth are sharp. Just engulfed the spinner bait. Oh, that's a chunky one. We'll get some measurements on this guy. Let me turn the light on. So you can see him. You see that? So put him down, get some measurements. And release him.
Sunshine Clams. 